Hey people, what's going on? Uh, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm going to do a review or initial impression on John Barbados house. Today, fragrance is gonna be, as I showed you yesterday, is John Barbados Dark Rebel Rider. So uh, the winter is about to start in Bangladesh. It's very uh, like shiny and sunny, you can see, but it's also breezy. So I am up here in the rooftop. Hopefully I can get some coverage before the kids come here, start to play. They usually play on the rooftop, right? So this fragrance, I wanted to get it in last winter. But I did not because I had this one. I've been using John Barbados Dark Rebel, the elder brother of it. Very beautiful bottle. I reviewed it. You can see my full-on review. So this is pretty dark and smoky and leathery. So this perfume, it's 125 ml, most, like most of John Barbados. Very, very dark, cool weather perfume. So uh, I'm going to show you the other brother today, uh, which is beautiful in packaging and smell-wise, it's also great. So here you can see uh, John Barbados Dark Rebel uh, Rider leather jacket you can tell what kind of fragrance gonna be so one of the thing the winter is coming slowly so it's not really cold yet but cool breeze starts flowing very nice indeed so 125 mil EDT concentration side like that back looks like that back of the jacket up there you find their emblem and then you see some of the information the bottle is really one of the highlights of this presentation it really is something you just want in your collection it's pretty much in this one if you haven't seen this. This is fully leather, I believe, or Rexin, I'm not sure. But it is sort of like a jacket all over the bottle. You can see they have the chain and the cap. You can take off the cap, same like John Rebito's Dark Rebel. Uh, both of them have you know, what you call uh, detailing in the cap and the atomizer. Inside looks like that. The cap is quite heavy. I believe it feels like ceramic or metal. So you can do this. You can do take out the bottle and i'll show you the bottle actually it's pretty cool uh it reminds me sort of like diesel fuel for life that perfume if you take out it gives you this beautiful bottle but i'm not sure you can see through for the juice but it's really nice it looks like a very nice touch for presentation so people with the harley davidson bike if you like smoking in the cold weather leather boots this is for you so what this perfume is all about let me show you the sprayer and talk about it uh, the sprayers are very very good and the best thing is you also get 125 ml so people call this uh, sort of like a younger brother of Dark Rebel. They are very close in terms of smell, many people say, but I find them a little bit different because Dark Rebel, it's a little bit more smoky. Um, leather is more focused. This one also is leather, but it has LME resin. So it gives you sort of like a smoky feel to the perfume with that leather jacket. Uh, imagine if you have an old leather jacket, uh, it's like real leather and it has been seasoned for 10-15 years and the smell that you get still from that leather uh, this is the smell it's an authentic leather smell if you love the note of leather you definitely have to try it so it has a sweetness kind of like a smoky ashy cigarette sort of feel also at the same time it's very cold weather light okay and the longevity projection from this is kind of moderate side longevity is about three to four hours projection is about one hour about mile projection after that it's very close to skin but in the cold weather you can enjoy this longer so I'll give you comparison if you want to try this. This is similar to David of Leather Blend also, which is a fantastic beast mode perfume. As well as if you like the uh, darkness of Zadig and Voltaire, this is him. These are very much in the same ballpark, as well as the original Dark Rebel. So it depends on you which one you like. This one will give you a little bit more longevity, but both of them are fantastic. So Dark Rebel Rider, it's for people who love the note of leather, like riding bikes and also like leather based perfumes okay that's the fragrance overall the fragrance quality was i'm giving it 8.5 out of 10 definitely a must try for upcoming winter i'm gonna rock this in the evening time mostly if i'm going out with a leather jacket that's pretty much dark rebel rider review or issue impression take care guys thanks for watching i'll be going out for evening walk see ya bye bye